Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to show you how to connect your MacBook Pro to your Xbox and get a shared connection working. What you want to do is you want to have an Ethernet cable plugged into your Mac, right there. You're going to have it running all the way to your Xbox. And you can see I don't have a Wi Fi adapter, so it's not like I'm uh, tricking you guys or anything. Okay, now that you're at your Mac, you want to go to the Apple sign. Hit about the smack. And this should pop up. Uh, look at your version number and make sure it's 10.7 or higher. If it's anything lower, it's not going to work. Now, since you know your uh, Mac version number, go to your system preferences, which is right here for me. Uh, go to sharing. And go to screen share, or no, go to internet sharing. And for the internet sharing, it's going to be ticked off like this. And you're going to want to share your connection from Wi Fi to Ethernet. And if it says airport right here, that probably means you're on an older version of the Mac. So check this on. And it's going to come up with a warning. Are you sure you want to run it? And click start. Now go back. Um, now you're going to want to go into network. And right here, uh, it's going to like it's going to say configure this. Just do it using DHCP. And if it says something like this, like the numbers are like this, I'm going to show you what to do in a second. Okay, so to fix these numbers, first thing you want to do is you want to turn off your Xbox. There we go. Turn off my Xbox. Now you're going to want to turn off your Wi Fi. There we go. And you're going to set this to off. Now you're going to want to turn on your Wi Fi. Should load. Wait till it says you're connected. There we go, I'm connected. Now go right here. And it, well, for me, I guess it just turned on automatically. Just make sure you put it back to using DHCP. And now power on your Xbox again. The only problem with this is, is that it's going to give you uh, a different NAT type. It says it's going to like stop you from talking in some parties. Uh, I don't really get that problem. Here we go, I'm going to show you. Network settings. And the thing here, right here, see for configure network, you're going to want to have these set to automatic. And if you're getting those numbers that I was showing you, on the Mac, if you're getting those, just do what I showed you right now, and it should fix it. The right, the numbers that you're gonna want are these. And if you type these in uh, manually and set it to manual, your Mac's still gonna keep thinking to use those old numbers, so it's gonna mess up and not connect. So here we go, text Xbox Live connection. Okay, see, you can connect to Xbox Live, but your current network configuration may limit your online experience. There you go, you select more info, you could read about it. See right here it says NAT type is moderate. That's alright, you're still going to get the same speed, nothing's going to be slower. I haven't really experienced any problems. Now, your Mac might still be showing those numbers and it still could be connected to Xbox Live. That's alright, as long as it's connected, it doesn't really matter. So here we go. Let me go through the steps again. Uh, I'll apply. Okay, you're going to want to go to System Preferences. Go to Sharing. Have Internet Sharing on. Going from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. Go to Network. Make sure it's using DHCP. 
If you uh, can't connect through Xbox Live and you have your Xbox on automatic, you're sure the cable's plugged in. Turn off your Wi-Fi. Then make this. Select where it says using DHCP. Turn that to off. Go to your Xbox. Turn that off. Power back on your Wi-Fi. After you power your Wi-Fi back on, power back on this. Turn on your Xbox and it should be working. Now, it might happen where it just fails randomly. That happens to me sometimes. Just do the steps I just told you. Thanks for watching, and I hope that helped you connect to Xbox Live. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.